back to school. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> we all aren't ready for back to school, or maybe you are. I'm not judging. Totally not judging. <laughs> but for those of us who aren't ready, I have some cool DIYs for you guys that run. <laughs> but wait, hold on. Pause the video and hit that subscribe button to join the KBay family. It's completely free. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to know when my videos go out. Videos like these that hopefully you guys enjoy. <laughs> Let's see if you can do it in five seconds. Oh wait. Did you do it? Welcome to the KBay family. It's a magical place. No, I know you guys just want to get into the DIYs, so Let's get into it. Ooh, that was fancy. That was a little fancy, little fancy, Edible crayons. Now these crayons are really easy to make. All you're going to need is some melting chocolate, food coloring, jumbo straws, a mixing bowl, and some crayons. Step one, you're going to need to melt your chocolate in the 30 second intervals, meaning you put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, take it out, stir it, put it in the microwave again, Take it out, stir it until it is completely melted, then throw in your food coloring to make the color of your liking, preferably colors that correlate to the crayons because then otherwise you won't be able to prank people. Once your chocolate is to the color of your liking, go ahead and take your straw and start stabbing the chocolate, preferably at an angle that way the chocolate starts pushing itself in and you have all the chocolate in your straw. Once you're done with that, put it in the fridge for 15 minutes or leave it overnight if you'd like and take it out when you're ready to fool somebody. Push it out of the straw or take an X-Acto knife if you like and take the straw off. Take an X-Acto knife and take off the wrapper to a crayon and I would prefer you guys use parental supervision doing this so you guys don't cut yourselves and I'm to blame for this so please use parental supervision. I don't want anybody getting hurt. For this eraser, you're going to need some Starburst, and that's it. <laughs> Pick apart the color of the Starburst that you'd like. I got the fave red, so it was all reds and pinks in there, so I took the pinks because that's the natural color of erasers, unlike these erasers, because I got some like crazy colored erasers. And take off the wrappers of the colors that you chose, and start molding it together to make an eraser, or make it look like an eraser, and just eat it whenever you're ready. It'll totally fool your friends. Okay, pause. Would you guys like to see a school supplies giveaway in the next video? If you guys would, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys would like a giveaway of school supplies in my next video, and I will totally do it. Back to the video. For the glue, all you're going to need is a glue stick and some frosting. And if you guys would like some food coloring of your choice, because you can actually make it like the purple glue stick. So what I did was unassembled my glue stick, cut off the glue and cleaned it really, really well because nobody wants to eat glue because that's not healthy. I reassembled my glue stick and took my frosting, which is actually blue. I didn't feel like going and buying white when I already had blue and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to do a purple glue stick because the glue stick was already purple and I took some red and blue food coloring and mixed it in so I got the perfect purple threw it in the glue stick with my knife or a spoon whatever you guys would prefer put the lid on it and put it in the fridge for 15 minutes until it was ready to eat and you're done Kayla is that food you have in class do you have enough to share no my class spoons I don't have food The sanitizer is really easy because all you guys are going to need is an empty sanitizer bottle. I had a ton lying around because I am a hoarder. So I just took one of those and washed it out really well and took this candy that I found at Five Below, like the icy candy. It's like the, the icies, but it's a candy version and it's cherry. And I went ahead and squeezed that into the hand sanitizer. The only thing you guys have to prepare for is that it's really messy. Not really messy, but it's somewhat messy. But other than that, once it's all in the hand sanitizer bottle, go ahead and close it up and start eating it for your friends. The next one is an edible ruler because rulers are fun to eat. 
The ruler was one of my favorite DIYs because although it was the most complicated, it was the most fun to plan out and think about. I was super excited to do this. So what I took was some Jolly Ranchers and put them on a pan that had wax paper over it. I went ahead and melted them at 250 degrees for about five minutes because they melted really fast. Be sure to use parent supervision for this one. I molded it with my knife until I got the shape of a ruler. It didn't come out perfect, but I still think it'll fool people. And if you guys are really precise and, you know, a perfectionist like I am, I think you guys can get it to look really, really good. And the last DIY for this video is edible paper, which is super simple. All you need to do is buy some edible paper from Hobby Lobby, Joann's, or Michael's. They also probably have it at Walmart, but I'm not 100% sure on that, but they, more than likely they will. They have the Wilton brand there. And I also took some edible markers and started drawing out the lines with a ruler because again, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> and once you're done with that, you just start writing notes with your edible marker, and whenever you don't want somebody to see it, just eat it. Or just eat paper to fool people. It's totally up to you. Mm, 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 mm. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the K-Bay family, and also don't forget to hit that like button to Help me out. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. Yes. Ooh. That highlight though. <laughs> and also something I wanted to talk to you guys about is currently what's going on at, in Houston and Corpus is Hurricane Harvey. Uh, where I live, we were supposed to be affected by it, but we didn't get affected by it. But we kind of are because apparently we're not getting gas down here. And also uh, people are evacuating to our area. And it's really tough to see because people have lost their homes, people that have worked really, really hard for their earnings and for their homes and for their families. They've lost pretty much everything and it kind of sucks to see that. Some people have actually passed away uh, from drowning and it's really, really crazy right now. It's really chaotic. It wasn't supposed to hit us as hard as it did, uh, but it did. It turned from a category one to a category four hurricane. And uh, I just want you guys to send out some prayers, donate if you can, or have your parents donate, or you don't have to like beg them to, but just really send out some prayers to them, because I also have some family that's in Houston that got evacuated, but um, it was hitting them really hard, and it's just really tough to see. So be thankful for what you guys have, and also be sure to pray for others if you guys are Christian or Catholic. And um, yeah, just really think about others, you know, put them... Put other people's feelings into thought and also be very grateful for what you guys have and spread love. This is what my channel is all about is spreading some love. So I hope you guys felt the love today and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye guys. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Ooh, I feel like every take I'm going to have to rebrush it. No lie. No lie. No lie. No lie. No lie. No lie. Whew. Oh, shoot. Oh, you know what? How about let's use a crayon? I don't know what I'm doing. It's super hot. I'm like super hungry right now. Oh, I gotta edit this video. I still haven't finished the video. I still gotta do more of the DIYs. I haven't finished. <laughs>